Arcana fandom, we need to have a talk. But before we do this, we need to get into uniform. We need to save Portia. Hashtag save Portia. Let's go, babies. Hello. Um, I would like to say that, um, I did notice I had powder under my nose uh, while I was filming this last bit. I promise I didn't do anything bad. It's just, it's just baking powder. Anyway, I felt like my emotions were too true in the moment for me to just refilm the whole thing. So ignore that and, and enjoy. So today, uh, March 27th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that would be about almost 45 minutes ago. Nyx Hydra released this statement. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn, the writer of Portia's Root, and I am here to ask for your help. Unfortunately, Portia's Root has been struggling from the very start. Too few people play her Root as a result. Her Root costs more to produce than it makes in revenue. Frankly, Portia's Root isn't even breaking even. No matter how much I, along with everyone on the Arcana team, want to continue creating Portia's Root, we simply can't afford to if this continues, and we will need to end her Root early. I see myself in the characters that I write. And I hope you see yourself in them too. Portia's story is a journey from being a side character in her own life to asserting herself as the main character. She takes ownership of her sorry. <laughs> she takes ownership of her own agency in life, discovers her inner strength, and fights for those she loves. I've gotten plenty of surprises and secrets in store for you. I've got plenty of surprises and secrets in store for you. A journey into the ruins under Vesuvia. Remember those Vesuvia Daily news headlines? Delving into a certain aristocratic family member's past and a desperate gambit to save not only Vesuvia, but the world. I want to see Portia's story through the end. If Portia is important to you too, and you want to see us continue to produce her route, we need your help. The best way you can help us is to read her root. There is no better time to start than now. We have both Infinite Key Weekend and Portia's book 15, so the devil, releasing today, which is already out as we're, as I'm filming this. We'll be holding more events celebrating Portia over the coming weeks. And we will be sharing fan art, writing, cosplays, discussions, and other works with the hashtag Save Portia. Keep an eye on the official Arcana Twitter at The Arcana Game starting this Monday. Thank you, and please help us save Portia. But... I'm sorry. Lynn and the Arcana team. So, you see, Portia's... So, you see... Portia's root is in big trouble, and we have to support her, you guys. I can't tell you how much Portia as a character has meant to me, and how how confident we feel as Portia. She is my favorite cosplay that I do, and she's such an adorable and cute character. And like they said, how she's just been this background character all of her life, and how she's becoming the main character. She's so sweet. <laughs> Please, you guys. Portia means so much to me as well as other people. We see ourselves in her and we want to continue to see her become this amazingly strong and beautiful inside and out person. So can we can we please just play her root like they said? They just have to people to play the root because not even enough people are playing it. Again, the easiest way that you can help support the continuation of this amazing story is just by reading it. She's, for those who don't know, the Arcana is a visual novel 
it's also a dating sim and there are different routes that you can choose to continue to play and Porsche is one of the routes that are continued that is continuously being updated and it is a free app with uh, microtransactions in it so if you just want to support this character that I love so much you can you could just download the app and just play her route you don't even have to buy anything maybe you will fall in love with this game that I love so much that is the reason that I got into cosplay as much as I am now the arcana is the first is the first um, thing that I felt so passionate enough to cosplay for three years I believe but I usually would only cosplay when I went to one con so I would really only have like one or two cosplays that I would do and then in the summer of 2019 I found the arcana I found it through the tish, tish talk I found it through TikTok and of course I've seen the ads and we all know that those ads are really weird and not really related to the game at all but <laughs> all the, cos the cosplay community on TikTok really got me interested in the game so I started to play it and I immediately fell in love with it and I've been playing it so much like I spent so much money on this game like y'all don't even understand <laughs> so after I started playing it, I decided to do an Brenta's OC on TikTok. And so that's like what really got me posting on TikTok because I usually just did it casually or did stuff making fun of the, the app, you know, we all kind of started, I guess. <laughs> and I just got more and more into it and all these wonderful cosplayers were there and we were, we were part of this big community and from there I, just, I was like, started to cosplay their characters did nadia was my first uh, canon character portia was my second and so now i cosplay the main six as well as faust 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 however you pronounce it also arcana arcana either one <laughs> of course i want to cosplay more characters oh i also did the devil i did the devil too but i want to cosplay more characters as well in this community for the most part is so positive and uplifting and I love so so many people I've made so many friends from this app 2020 I got to be part of an arcana panel at a con uh, and it was just so fun to see all these people have the same interest as you all in one place it was really truly amazing so this whole world that Nyx Hydra has created truly means a whole lot to me because it's the reason that I really started cosplaying and that I have the following on TikTok that I do and for that I thank the game so much and now I want to ask y'all to help save one of my favorite characters as well as the the one that's my favorite to cosplay because I just I just feel so cute <laughs> as this character which is something that I struggle with also um, this game has helped me get through a really tough time um, in August of 2019 still to today I have been struggling with a, a mystery illness. The plague, if you will, has really taken a toll on me mentally and physically. I've been isolated for a really long time because I can't physically do a lot of things anymore. Reading Nyx Hydra's stories that they put out and doing these cosplays gave me a reason to wake up in the morning. And so it would mean a whole lot to me and to so many other people if you help save Portia. So like Nyx Hydra said, the best way to do it is to read her story. That's just to help get those numbers up. And also, they'll be again, they'll be celebrating Portia next week, starting Monday. 
So like I said, they'll do posting fan art, cosplays, and a whole bunch of other stuff, which I think is going to be great, at least for me, because I love Portia. But honestly, I don't really know what else to say. Just please don't let Portia's story go unfinished. She doesn't deserve that. She's truly an amazing character. And to see her grow the way that she has is amazing. And Lynn at Nyx Hydra, you're doing an amazing job. And I will try my hardest to try to get Portia's story out there to share with more people because you're doing amazing. And I look forward to all that you have coming for her and for future Nyx Hydra properties. Again, um, thank you for watching and save Portia.